We're reviewing today the Gyojo. It's a thermo gun, 256 by 192, a 3.2 inch screen, comes in a nice box. As we can see over here, we have an instruction manual with information provided. We have the holster that the gun is in. You get a carrying strap that goes on each to the side. And on the back over here, you have a clip for your belt. You have this little lip that you lift up. It opens up the unit and comes out. We're given a USB-A brick to charge a unit with a micro cable USB-A up to two feet and going to demonstrate using the micro cable to the unit in charging. Open up the cover on the side of the back left screen and simply align and plug in. When the unit starts to charge, you have a nice large icon of the battery. After five seconds, the icon disappears and we'll wait till the charge is over. The unit has a four gig internal memory using a computer to transfer your images over via cable. When ready to hook up, left hand side, open up the door, plug in the cable correctly. And allow the unit to immediately turn on and go to the IMGS and open up your pictures and view. The Gyojo GW256. We have a trigger, a lens cap cover covering the lens and sensor with a range of 0.5 to 40 meters. A 3.2 inch screen, joystick button controls on and off. No tripod holder, simply grab in the hand and point. This has a cold start hot thermo tracking. The unit will point and show the heat of the product so you know what the temperatures are reading at. We're going to demonstrate a couple of things, but before we do, we need to turn on the unit. It is a firm long press. Remember to peel the film off the screen on the front. This is the front of the screen. I have some water. It's not super cold, but we'll see what happens when we drink it. The vest is lit up, as you can see. We'll see what it generates in heat. Let's take a picture by snapping on the trigger. There are two options here. If you want to save the picture, you're going to hit the menu. If you do not want to save the picture, you hit the select. It highlights the yes and saves the picture. As we scroll down, you can see how the heat is generating on the vest in this particular spot right here. We want to see if the iPhone has any heat while it was charging. We want to see if the screen has any heat. I have my plants here and I hit the picture. I save. I want to now go into the menu. You have image registration of images. You could change the different resolutions. You have a future of video not available. You have the color palettes. You have the intensity. You have your settings. If for the reason I want to change some things like my unit, I scroll down to the unit, right arrow, scroll down to the Fahrenheit, and click on Select. And I am now on Fahrenheit. I have temperature range, time format, set the time, a spot, the version, and back to the auto shutdown. 
Auto shutdown is five minutes and 20 minutes. I want to get out of this. I simply hit the menu. If I scroll to the right, it changes the colors and so forth, as you can see, the palettes. If I scroll to the left, it goes back to the opposite way. If I go up and down, it changes the screen on and off. I have a temperature, a battery indicator, the temperature on the left-hand side, and E, the maximum temperature and the minimum temperature. I have in a distance is a box that is hot. It's about 80 degrees. I have in a great distance a light on, and it doesn't pick it up as far. Of course, that's a little over the 40 meter range. There is a lot of thermal imaging gun can do. It could tell you that do not touch the pipe. When it's cooled down, we could work on it and so forth. And whatever project you are looking to do, this will tell you exactly what's happening. You can see there's 16.8 Celsius and 19 point a little area in two different areas. We need to find out the temperatures of the pipe. We just take this little center box, bring it over to the pipe and so forth. And we see it is at 119.9 Fahrenheit down over here if we needed to work on the unit and know when it cools off. We have an application known as IRI Image Tool V1. Welcome to the IRI Image Tool setup. We can open up the files and it shows you everything about the picture, gives you a blend that you could see the whole room, the way it looks like lit up to the thermal imaging. You have the palette, the temperature units you could change from Fahrenheit to Celsius in case you made a mistake. You could do it via the software. We have the tracking points. We have lines that you could draw and you can see the temperatures that it went through from this point to that point. And I have temperature points. You have a circle. You could draw a circle radius. You have a squiggly line. And you have a return undo button and the trash can. And you have a choices of language, Chinese or English. And then when you're all done, you hit the save button and you can save it to wherever you like. And when all done, just simply long press the off button. It charges via the USB micro cable through the laptop, brick, power bank. And when all done, pull the cable out. Close the side door, close the lid to protect your sensor and image gun, and put away in your holster for another time to use. It has a Velcro strap to simply press, put it on your strap, shoulder, wherever you want to go. Enjoy your thermo imaging gun, no matter where you use it. I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a great day.